Hey everyone, hope you all are doing very well. Our today's lecture is what is difference between drop database, truncate database, or empty database. In most of the editors or SQL editors, you have seen such kind of options which are available over there to perform such kind of operations. Suppose in PHP MyAdmin, SQL Yog, which we are using uh, this time. And as well, like uh, you can say SQL Server Management Studio, all kind of SQL editors where you perform uh, operations on creating databases, schemas, tables, and putting some data over there. So when you click a specific database and you want drop a database or truncate a database or empty database so actually what is difference between these kind of options so if you're going to click on drop database it will drop or remove all the data or database structure from your this editor as well as from mysql so first option is going to delete or remove everything a structure database name and the data which is stored in your database second option which is truncate database it is going to just delete the data from your database tables not the structure or you can say the tables columns from your uh, database table structures will remain same as it is but the data which is stored in such kind of tables will be you can say truncated click on empty database it will delete all the tables structure and its data as well but the database name or database will remain over there if you're going to click on empty database, it will delete whole structure and data of your database tables, but database name will exist over there. So suppose we are going to click on truncate database. First, we are going to perform a truncate database. First, I'm going to show you that the tables are already in database. Click on a specific table. There's a data as well in such kind of table set over there so suppose i'm going to click on more database operations truncate database yes and we go and see over there that tables structure is already over there but the data which which were inserted in such kind of tables is truncated second option uh, which are provided over here if you're going to click on empty database it will delete whole the structure of database tables but it will not affect on your database which is created over there all other kind of things which were available over there suppose if you're going to click on more database empty database you can see over there not tables but views store procedures functions triggers or events which you have created on this uh, database all the things will be deleted or removed from your database but only the name of database will exist suppose i'm going to refresh this you can see there's no any view no any table no any store procedure function trigger or event over there the last option which is available over there if you're going to click on drop database it will drop whole the database uh, structure tables events everything which is in database it will be you can say drop so click on drop database it will drop all the database uh, things which are available in database. hope you have understood such kind of things so in our next lecture we're going to learn something about other kind of things as well so see you in next lecture.